Today, we are going to discuss the different parts of Microsoft Excel and its function. And of course, the objective of this one is for you to know the basics and to familiarize yourself with the MS Excel common parts, functions, and its features. So let's start. This is what you call the worksheet. Do not be confused if you hear the word spreadsheet because a spreadsheet and worksheet mean the same thing. All right? So let's start with the different parts or components of Excel. Let's have first this one. Do you see the cursor? Yeah. Okay. So this one is again, what do you call that? All right. That is the title bar. So what is the function of the title bar? So the title bar is the bar that displays the name of the active workbook and the Excel program name. So let's try. Paano tayo mag-save or magpapalit ng ating, uh, ng name ng ating worksheet? So we will go to the file tab. Alright, so save us. Uh, if you want to uh, put it in the desktop so that uh, you can easily see it. Okay, the file name is, let's say, Ralph Abiyad then save there you go we have a new uh, name of our worksheet all right so let's have the second component of this or the second part of excel we have the quick access toolbar so this is or these are the quick access toolbar ayan pong mga icons na yan so pwede mo siyang i-customize ayan Customize access toolbar. Kung ano yung gusto mo agad makita, ay of course, kailangan mo siyang i-check. Ayan. So, if it is not important, pwede namang i-uncheck mo siya. No? So, yung mga importante is, ayan yung may mga check. New, open, save, undo, redo. Again, so this part is the quick access toolbar. So, next part, we have the ribbon. So this whole, uh, what do you call this, tabs or group of tabs of icons rather are what we call, is what we call the, the ribbon. Alright, so ito yung icon kung saan makikita mo yung ribbon display button kasi pwede mo siyang i-auto hide. Uh, show, no, show tabs, show tab, both tabs and commands. So, let's try uh, to hide it. Yan. So, you will see the entire worksheet or the spreadsheet. Okay. Ibalik natin. Uh, show tabs. There you go. So, yung mga importanting tab lang, such as file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view. Then, Ayan. If you want to show it all, para mas madali mong makita, show tabs and command. Again, itong lahat ng ito, this is what we call, ano nga ulit? Alright, that is the ribbon. So let's go to the next part. The next part is the name box. Ito po ang name box. Itong part na to. So dito nakalagay, uh, Pag mas nyo ha, please notice this one. So, this is the active cell kasi, no? So, another part yan. Sige, later natin siya balikan. Ayan. So, you will notice, inilipat ko yung active cell. Ayan. So, nagbago yung name ng box na yon. So, this is the name box. So, let's say, tatapat ka dito yung cursor. Ayan. So, nakatapat siya sa column K, row 11. Alright? So, again, this is the name box. So, what is the function of the name box? Obviously, it is a box that display the cell reference of, again, the active cell. Alright? Dahil nabanggit na natin yung active cell, ito naman yung tinatawag natin na active cell. Ayan. Nakikita nyo ba yung cursor na parang cross? 
Ayan po yung active cell natin. So, what is the function of active cell? So, it is the cell currently selected in the active worksheet. So, let's try moving the active cell. Ayan. So, makikita natin na babago din yung name box. J10, I10, H10. So much for that. So, the next component or the next part is the formula bar. Ito po ang tinatawag natin na formula bar. Ayan, yung cursor natin lumabas. No? So, whatever you type in the active cell, lalabas dyan sa formula bar. Let's try to type Ralph. Alright, so as you can see, dito ako nag-type sa active cell, but nandun din siya sa formula bar. Alright, so ano bang uh, function ng formula bar? So this is a bar that display, displays rather the value of formula entered in the active cell. Just like what I did. Okay, ayan po. So I'll try to uh, clear this one. So kung i-clear mo yan, backspace lahat ay borado na, no? So, ganun yung kaibahan ng uh, Excel sa MS Word wherein isa-isa yung pag, pag binakspace natin, every single value lang yung nade-delete. So, this time, so deleted na yung lahat or makiklear lahat when you press backspace. Ayun. Okay? So, kung gusto mo siyang itry, i-delete lang siya one by one. So, itatapat mo sa active cell, double click or double top. Ayan. So, kapag lumabas yung cursor dun sa last uh, letter which is H ayan, backspace, backspace backspace, but again ulitin natin, kahit pa ulit-ulit tayo para madali nyo maintindihan or malaman ninyo dun sa mga baguhan dito sa Excel ano, ayan, so tinapat ko sa active cell, wala, hindi ako nag double tap, tinapat ko lang I will, I will tap or uh, press backspace now there you go, na clear lahat nung nasa formula bar at dun sa active cell Alright, let's go to the next part. Okay, ano pa bang uh, mas mga pinaka-importante dito? Okay, so we have the select all buttons. This part is the select all buttons. Ayan, so lahat siya ay mag-highlight. Nakita ba? Ito yung part na select all buttons. Okay, so what is the function of select all button? Of course, from the word itself, it is a button used to select all the cells in the active worksheet. Alright, again, ano nga tawag dito? So this is what we call the acti uh, sorry, the select all button. Alright. So next, next function is the row headings. So itong lahat na ito, ito ay ang tinatawag natin na row headings headings. Again, uh, from one and so on, mahaba kasi yan. This is what we call the row headings. So, what is the function of row heading? So, that is the number, again, that's the numbers that appears along the left of the worksheet. Ayan, kita naman natin, nasa kaliwa siya. Uh, worksheet window, rather, to identify the different rows in the worksheet. So, if we have Row headings, of course, we have the column headings. Ito naman yung column headings natin. A, B, C, and so on. This is what we call the row heading. So what is the function of the row heading? So the function of the row heading, uh, the, sorry, the, the column heading, nagkamali ako. Uh, sorry for that. Please forgive me. So this is the, again, baka lang malimutan your row heading. This one is the column heading. So the column heading this time is uh, the function of column heading is the letters. Those are the letters that appear along the top. Yan, kita naman natin of the worksheet window to identify the different columns in the worksheet. That is the row, the column headings. Next, we have the workbook window. So this entire one is what we call the workbook window. Ayan po. No? So, dapat pala inuna ko yan. No? So, hindi naman siya kasing halaga ng iba. No? So, basta alam niya lang yung ang tawag dito is workbook window. So, that is the window that displays an Excel workbook. Next is the vertical scroll bar. Ayan. So, ito po ang vertical scroll bar natin. 
Ayan, so kita nyo ba? Ayan, vertical scroll bar. Scroll bar, rather. So, ang vertical scroll uh, scroll bar naman natin, this is a scroll bar used vertically through the workbook window. Okay? So, if we have the vertical scroll bar, we have naman the horizontal scroll bar. Ayan po. So, itong part na to, kita nyo ba yung cursor? Nakikita pa ba? So, ito yung horizontal scroll bar. So, the horizontal scroll bar, scroll bar is used to scroll horizontally through the workbook window. Ayan po. Next is, uh, what do you call this? So, this one is the zoom controls. Zoom controls, yeah, kita natin, naka, ang standard niya is 100%. So, let's try to zoom it. Ayan po. So, para lumaki din yung active cell natin and all the other parts of the uh, worksheet or the workbook. Ayan. So, let's try to minimize it. Ayan, bawasan natin. Uh, let's see. Ayan, 70%, 80%. Ayan. So, again, this is what we call the zoom controls. So, the function of the zoom controls, of course, is the controls for magnifying and shrinking the content displayed in the active workbook window. Alright. So, ang sunod natin ay the view shortcuts. Ito naman yung tinatawag natin. Itong tatlong icon na to is the view shortcuts. Ayan. Tapat natin. This is the normal view, the page layout view, and the page break preview. Ayan. So, tatlo yung icon natin for view shortcuts. Ayan po. So, try natin ito. Yung standard. Next. Ganyan po siya. Kapag page layout. At pag, pag page break, uh, free view, ayan naman po. So, balik natin sa standard. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So, the function of the view shortcuts is of course the buttons used to change how the worksheet content is displayed normal page layout or page break preview view okay so let's have the next part so the next part or component of excel is the sheet tabs ito po ang sheet tabs so ang nakalagay lang sa atin kasi hindi pa tayo nag-aad is sheet 1 kapag mag-aad tayo ng panibago ito po yon. so new sheet there you go. Sheet 2, Sheet 3, Sheet 4, Sheet 5. Okay. So, paano naman tayo magre-rename ng sheet? So, right-click, rename. So, let's have, let's say for example, ICE uh, ABM, Sheet 2, let's rename it to STEM, Sheet 3, TVL, uh, sheet 4, what else? ICT. Ayan. Although, this is a strand of uh, TBL. Okay. So, kapag gusto nyo namang lagyan ng kulay para madali nyo talagang makita or mahilig kayo sa ganan, so, pwede nating palitan yung tab natin. So, this is the tab color. Again, na ulitin natin. Right click lang ulit. There you go. So, red, stem, green, and so on. Ayan. So, ganun po magpalit ng tab color. Okay. Ito naman yung status bar natin. There you go. Ayan. This is the status bar. Kung ano na bang nangyayari. Oh, sorry. So, hindi natin nabigay yung function ng sheet tab. So, the sheet tabs, these are the tabs that display the names of the worksheet in the workbook. Okay. What about the status toolbar status bar rather so again yun yung uh, dun na lumalabas yung status ng ating workbook all right okay so those are the components or the parts the important parts of uh, excel let's have a review or recap so again this is the title bar yeah so, this is the quick access toolbar. This is the name box. This is the formula bar. This is the select all buttons. There you go. This one is the row headings. 
row headings. This one is the column headings. This one is the status bar. This is the sheet tops. This is the horizontal scroll bar. This one. This is the vertical scroll bar. This is the view shortcuts. This is the control shortcuts. Sorry, uh, zoom controls rather. This is the ribbon. This whole thing is the ribbon. And this icon is the ribbon display buttons. Again, this one is the customized access toolbar icon. And this whole, uh, this entire screen is what we call the workbook window. Okay, so, and, and by the, uh, sorry, this is the active cell. Alright, so those are the components or the parts of the Microsoft Excel. Okay, that's, that's it. So I hope you learned something for today. Thank you and happy learning.